Hey, and welcome back to another repair video. So what we have here today is this Nokia 9 Pure View with a bad charging port. Now, uh, I bought this thing off eBay for the price on screen here. It was about like $89 or something like that. It was a few weeks ago. Uh, it was listed as uh, does not charge above 40%. It just charges till 40% and that's it. Uh, and then the battery drops real fast as well. So I assume uh, it's probably a bad battery. So uh, I bought it and then I swapped the battery. This is the old battery i did it off camera it's not that interesting uh to make a video on it all modern phones or especially android phones they're organized the same way on the inside if you go watch my motorola repair video or my samsung s20 my motorola g stylus repair video or my samsung s20 repair video it's gonna be the same thing glass back uh l ish well c sort of shaped motherboard uh got a bit over here and then a thin part over here and over there like that or in the Motorola case there were some wires running and then the batteries over here they all have the same layout so that was an uninteresting video to make so I didn't make it however I bought a uh, used but in good condition battery and swapped it over so it's an original OEM battery however in good condition and that battery does hold charge the only issue is the charging issue is still here it uh, still only charges it's gone up one bit it's gone up to like uh, it charges to like 54%, it's now 49%, that was like a few days ago. This battery holds charge, however, um, the charging port is screwed up because if you wiggle the charger around, let me grab a charger here, so let me plug this in, and uh, you'll see it's charging. However, it doesn't pass uh, 54%. If, you move, if I move the charger, as you can see, there's a dead spot. If I move it a bit, let me do that again. Look at the charging symbol over here. As you see, I'm moving the charger and there's a dead spot. So I'm assuming that dead spot is uh, also got to do something inside, not giving proper charge to the battery. It could be also what destroyed the old battery because this battery looked okay. It didn't, and it's a phone from 2019 and I've seen phones from 1999, old Nokia batteries like these things uh, still hold a charge better than that. So I don't know is it a quality issue, but it could very well be that charging port destroyed the old battery um, And that is what it is. However um, The uh, new battery I don't uh, intend to destroy that as well So let's take a look at the charging port. The charging port did look messed up when I took it apart um, Also a fun fact. This is a launch edition Nokia 9 pure view manufactured in 2018 as you can see there so this thing is one of the older ones uh, not the latter ones so yeah uh, as usual before jumping right into this video uh, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video also don't forget to leave a comment section uh, leave a comment down on the comment section below let me know what you think about the Nokia 9 pure view do you own one do you want to get your hands on one or whatever you want to let me know down in the comment section below leave a comment we can start a discussion also definitely hit that subscribe button and stay tuned throughout summer i'll be uh, doing a camera comparison between this and the 808 pure view the uh, lumia 1020 the 950 the 950 xl so many phones to compare this thing to here in 2022 so stay tuned for that for the camera comparisons also don't forget to check out my social media which is linked down in the description below and now let's jump right into this video also i want to point out that uh, if i can't fix this port issue i'm just gonna toss this phone aside and i'm gonna buy a, a separate nokia 9 pure view because i've already spent quite a lot on this phone i'm not willing to spend more the phone was 89 dollars plus some dollars shipping and then 20 dollars for the battery plus some shipping uh the oem charging port the entire board here at the bottom that's like 40 dollars plus shipping so i'm not really willing to spend that much I can put in uh, I can put a fake board for like $19 but that'll probably fry the rest of the phone anyway so yeah not gonna do that so uh, if I can't fix this I'm just gonna put it to a side and get a different Nokia 9 pure view I've already taken the back cover off uh, it is not uh, secured down uh, that well because uh, taking this thing's glue off was like hell on earth I remember taking this off took quite a while but uh, there's not much glue here this should be easy to take off there we go but gotta be careful because it's glass. Also, uh, if you are a regular on this channel, you know how the uh, videos work. We uh, fast forward the unnecessary parts and we um, we uh, talk about the important parts. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's fast forward this part. Mm -hmm. 
So I almost forgot there for a minute. Last time when I took this apart, I changed the thermal paste. Yeah, this thing actually has thermal paste there. So um, I totally forgot and I just left it like that upside down. And also the charging port's inside there. This board is just the, just it's, the charging port is not attached to the board, which is nice. So um, let me keep this aside and let me clean this off and be right back. All right, so that's clean. Um, we'll have to replace the thermal paste anyway. Let us now take this out, and I think it's pasted to a certain extent, which is annoying. Then I have to slowly peel it out there. <clears throat> and it's got one screw over there, and this cable over here. It's a combo port with all of these. Let me actually have a closer look how to take this out here. So having a closer look at this thing, it is pasted really tight to the frame, which is really annoying. I, I really hate those kind of things. Uh, <clears throat> nevertheless, we have to actually take it out to work on it because I'll be heating this thing pretty hard uh, if that's the case. And as you can see there, that's the display. We do not want too much heat right next to the uh, uh, OLED display. So we have to take this thing out. I'm just gonna work under this with this uh, metal spudger and slowly move up like that. Um, I'm not gonna do it on camera because it's really hard and it, uh, I need to get real close. I don't wanna mess this thing up. So yeah, I'll do this off camera and be right back. So I tried and tried and tried and it only gets so far, it never comes off. I literally put too much pressure on it. Uh, I, a bit more pressure and it would have ripped or I would have gone and stabbed the display under there. So um, I kind of don't really have the tools for that. The only tools that actually slide under there are these two. I can use a scapel, but that'll definitely rip the board. Um, I, like, I, I have to buy one of those slimmer tools like this to slide under there. <clears throat> but uh, nevertheless, I still found the problem and I think we can fix the problem without taking the board out. Now, I wish this thing had a uh, macro camera because I'm using the iPhone 11. Let me grab the uh, let me grab the cable here and plug the thing in. Um, so plug the cable in. Look at the contacts here. These contacts that uh, this is the port and this is uh, the board. Look at the contacts uh, from the port to the board. Do you see that? I don't know if that's even coming up on camera. Let me try something else. Let me. What has happened is all the uh, the contacts have uh, desoldered. The solder has cracked and uh, come off the. Uh, come off the uh, logic uh, board thing there. Uh, the only thing that's holding it in place is just the pressure of it. So that's not ideal for charging. The port looks pretty mangled too, look at this. 
it's these are supposed to be straight so they it's just bad design actually it's not the user's fault and i thought this thing over here the xperia xcs had a bad design well that is technically still a bad a worse design but still coming from nokia well that's just sad like that's a, the only things literally holding that port in place are these two metal pins these flimsy metal pins when you keep taking it out in and out like that it's just gonna break dude like come on is this what nokia has become a port like this make designing ports like this this is crap design um so yeah that's pretty disappointing but hey nokia has been going down the gutter uh pretty recently um quite fast so not surprising actually but anyway um i'm gonna think about how we're gonna fix this uh we could solder it but i don't have a micro tip my soldering tip is literally bigger than uh, those pins so it's just gonna spray all over the place and it's gonna contact the resistors there and all so it's gonna be a mess so i gotta think of something um if not we're just going to um we're just going to actually um charge this thing wirelessly that's probably the only option there it's just sad that nokia has resorted to this crap um i could heat this thing to 200 degrees and may refill the solder the, the the existing solder but then the display is still underneath there so that's the other annoying problem so let me think this out so i just realized something it's just that let's say i figure out a way to solder this thing while it's in there what's stopping it from breaking again literally what's stopping it from breaking again because look this thing uh has more give now this could be just a extra long long usb port but this thing has a lot of give to it um naturally before even that starts moving these two pins aren't really doing their job so i don't really see the point of fixing this uh, it's just gonna break again literally gonna break again and again, I'm going back to the original point, like, let me, let me grab something over here. Let me grab something over here. I, I gotta go on a bit of a rant. I barely ever do rants, but screw it. Here goes. Look at these two things. These are old now. This one's a prototype, but just ignore the fact that it's a prototype. It's still a Nokia N8 at heart. Um, these two things. Um, some of the best designed Nokia phones ever. Uh, these, uh, this is the N8 uh, prototype with the uh, kickstand and the different camera and uh, but different buttons and stuff. And this is a uh, standard Nokia N91. These things are built like tanks. They barely ever have any issues. And whenever the issues are there, they're just easily fixable. Um, they're just built so well. The ports never break. Everything that's meant to be durable is durable like for example the usb type b port in this thing it is meant to be durable it's fixed to the board with a solid bunch of uh, solder and just really nice pins and all that stuff it just uh fixed the main board as well um <clears throat> and these were designed for long-term use they were designed like tanks they were not designed to break and they were not uh, designed with cheapness in mind but what i've seen with a lot of nokia phones in recent times it's just crap like that like, it's kind of sad to see Nokia devolve into uh, this, what we're basically this uh, state. And it's even further, the, my anger is even further coming from, where the hell is that thing? Um, it's not here, it's the Nokia G10. After that thing got its Android 12 update, it was still the same as Android 11, albeit a bit better in certain, uh, in certain places. Um, in certain like performance wise and stuff like that overall it's like slightly better but it's still a, i thought it would be a much better phone after the android 12 update but it's not and uh yeah so nokia has devolved into this sad state that is designing stuff like that that was designed to break you cannot hold a physically moving something that's constantly plugged in and out by two flimsy pins like that there should be something backing up to it like that now you could make the argument that the boat backs to backs up to it like that it doesn't do that pretty well there's still some wiggle behind it it's still gonna wiggle and it's still gonna break the only things holding this whole thing back after the pins give way the two uh, locking pins like things as you can see there uh, is the contact pads themselves so no wonder it broke i'm just 
annoyed at the fact that Nokia has devolved into this form of design. And there are a few other things on this phone that I can spot as well. I mean, the, the saw... I mean, the soldering job is fine, I've seen on this phone, but like, it's it's not the same. It's not that Nokia. It's a good phone, don't get me wrong, but it has a few design flaws here and there. But it's just not that Nokia that we've known. These kind of stupid mistakes were made, like, by the, initially in the beginning, Xiaomi, uh, Oppo, uh, lower-end Samsung phones. These were the kind of stupid design choices that were on those phones. However, even those companies for their cheapest phones have gone out of their way to fix things like that and make them solid. And this is a crap that Nokia gives us now. Uh, it's just an, it's just me ranting. Um, but yeah, there's no, I'm not gonna bother to fix this. No, I'm just gonna wirelessly charge this. Uh, if that also starts crapping out, I'm just gonna toss this at a wall or something. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna destroy it, but still, I'm gonna get probably buy another one and hope that is also, uh, in, I hope that one's in good condition, because this, this is crap. This is just bona fide crap. Um, you don't design a port like that. You should have uh, some bracing here rather than those two, two crappy pins. But it is what it is. It's it's just sad. It's a flagship phone, and that's what they give us. Huh. Never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna put this thing back together off camera, and uh, I guess use it for the camera comparison videos in a few days. Uh, the camera still works fine, so that is that. But yeah, this was uh, a um, repair video turned rant video. Uh, usually don't do these, but it uh, kind of pisses me off to see Nokia devolve into this state. It is what it is. We can't really change that. They don't really respond to comments and stuff regarding criticism. But uh, um, yeah, I, I encourage you go on their Instagram page and Twitter page and just yell at them. Uh, point stuff out like that. Point, point stuff stuff out like the bad microphones on cer certain older models, the crappy cameras that aren't really up to par on the mid-rangers, um, software updates not not happening. Uh, this thing can only be updated to Android 10, let that sink in. I've seen Walmart phones get Android 11 and you're telling me the plus $1,000 uh, Nokia 9 Pure View can't get Android 11? Come on. Uh, so yeah, never mind. Uh, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm, I know it's just a rant, but it is what it is. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you honestly liked the video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up on the like button down below. Hit that uh, subscribe button as well and ring that bell notification button. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I hope you are just angry as me to see Nokia devolve into this state. It is what it is. Uh, it's no different with modern phones. I've, I'm going to talk about the uh, G10 as well. The G10 was released last year. You can say this was released in 2019 but the G10 was released last year and the G10 has its problems. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a comment down below. Check out my social media, which is linked down in the description below. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.